So our last video looking at features of the UMISC event space is just going to be looking at social opportunities um, that we have built into the conference. So two of them are on the menu here. They're kind of near the bottom. Um, doesn't mean they're not important. I think they're some of the most fun things you can do uh, as part of the conference. So we have a discussion board. Uh, and some of it is uh, kind of off topic or not technically related. I mean, this first topic is troubleshooting, like technical problems you're having with the platform. Uh, that's a good thing to be aware of. Uh, we have some fun ones, like just a quirky icebreaker type thing, if you want to do that. A general chat, um, you can talk really about anything. We are going to ask, even though it's election week, please. Know, don't get into partisan politics because nothing you know makes things more uncomfortable than the people fighting about politics. Um, save it for Thanksgiving. <laughs> no. Um, then 2020 survival tips, that's our other fun one. And then from there we get into some more technical ones. Uh, if if you'd like to chat with others about the the plenary of the day, that's a good place to do that. And then we have uh, several other topical issues. Uh, we have not reached the capacity of the number of discussions that we can have in here. So if there's something you think really warrants some discussion with other attendees that you miss, and you're not seeing a place for it here, send me a message in EventMobi, and I will make you a channel for it uh, by the next break in, in the in the program, it, it doesn't take very long to make them. So yeah, just let me know. Discussion board. All right, and then another cool feature is our social wall. So this part of the, the app and the event space actually pulls information in from Twitter and Instagram. And all you have to do to get your content acknowledged um, up here is either at UMISC2020 or hashtag UMISC2020, or you can also do hashtag UMISC online. Uh, and those are gonna be pulled directly into here. Like I said, uh, it pulls from Twitter and Instagram. Um, we can pull from our own Facebook page. And I guess if you posted to our Facebook page and, and use the hashtags, it would work, but you can't post to your own wall and use the hashtags, I don't know social media, who knows. Um, but we will be looking at these, uh, we as in staff, both the discussion board and the social wall to see who is really interacting with the conference and, and contributing to these. Uh, and we will have some daily points prizes uh, if you're playing the championship. It might be worthwhile to send a few tweets or uh, engage in some discussion on the discussion board uh, to get some extra points. All right, the last place uh, to find social interaction uh, built into UMISC is through the, the session board. So we're gonna go to this and sort by tracks and go to social. Okay, so you'll see here, this looks a little sparse. It's true. We made a strategic decision to offer a few social opportunities during the conference and not to have something going on at every single break and lunchtime. Um, I know I am feeling just a little overwhelmed uh, with the scope of the conference and just this year in general has been a lot. And I really need that time to myself to eat and just turn off for a little while. Uh, and we think you might too, you know, your other emails aren't gonna stop just cause you're at the conference. So, uh, you know, the, the lunches are true downtime to go take a walk, to, to eat your lunch, to check your email, whatever it is you need to do. Um, that's why we don't have a ton of social stuff going on. But we do have a happy hour at the end of day one. This would be kind of the welcome reception. Uh, normally we'd have this in the poster hall. This might be, you know, a little bit after you looked at some of the posters and finished up your emails for the day. You can come back at five Eastern, I guess this would be six, or sorry, five Central, six Eastern, um, to just 
chat with people. This is this is an open Zoom room. Um, the invite is posted in here, so if you go here, um, you can click on Join Now. That should work for you. Uh, but if you have any access problems, the meeting ID and password are all in here. Uh, so you know we'd be happy to have you join us. And if we get a lot of people, we'll break it into breakout rooms so that. Um, there's few enough people to actually have a discussion without just constant crosstalk. Uh, Sysma Social is a very similar idea. It's just for the, the Sysma crowd, so staff or other participants of Sysmas are more than welcome, uh, board members too, I'm sure, you know, the more the merrier. Um, but this will be focused a little bit more on Sysma issues as well as just social hanging out. Uh, good stuff. It's a little bit earlier um, after the end of the sessions on Wednesday. And the last one is kind of a, it's a wrap up to the whole conference, but it's definitely a wrap up as well to the Woody Invasive Summit that I'm hosting uh, as a component of UMISC. Um, but, you know, everyone who is coming to UMISC is welcome to come to this. Just, you know, hang out. Uh, I'll probably be pretty brain fried by the time Friday, November 6th rolls around, so that should be fun. Uh, anyway, those are our social events. Again, I, I do encourage you to, to look at some of the static ones, like the, the board and the social wall too, uh, especially if you're looking for name points, and uh, to join us on Zoom if you're looking for more of a face-to-face -face type of uh, interaction. And I can't wait to see you there. <laughs>